Hi and welcome to Winners Corner. This Saturday we're going to the northern part of Sweden and this day in Boden the sun never lower itself under the horizon. And we celebrate this with a midnight V75 jackpot round. As uh, usual when it comes to V75 we can expect great races and the finest race of them all this Saturday Harry it is Norrbotten Stora Pris. And what do you think about this year's version of that race? Absolutely fantastic. A really great to see Propulsion coming to have a shot at taking three wins in a row. He's had two already and uh, he's my favourite to win actually. We'll get back to Norrbotten Stora Pris in a little while but for now we start in race eight. It equals the second leg of the V75 round and this is a difficult race to figure out Harry. It's 15 mares over full distance with a circular start. How do you want to open up this day? Yeah, I'm going to start with the show. I believe we could get a really good return. When I say a good return on a show, over two and a half times the money. It's a tough field of fillies here, and, and fillies are never, ever <laughs> easy to, <laughs> to work out. Much easier with the, with the Colts. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to go for Melby uh, Fashion. I think she could be uh, right up there in the top three and, and give us a good return for a show. Yeah, and here we yeah, see we her. Yeah, we see her. Uh, she's in the red colours there. And she, uh, oh, she's, she's in the green. And here, Jürgen Westholm is going to drive her this time. Here she ends up third. Uh, a nice show bet there on number two, Mel B. Fashion. We move on to race nine. Uh, it's a long distance race where number two, Cargo Door, and, uh, or Cargo Door will become the favorite despite the fact that he didn't do very well in this last race. No, but there's been a tremendous amount of buzz about uh, Cargo Door. The, you know, the stable talk and it, it spreads through like wildfire and uh, time and time again and, and didn't live up to expectations, but I believe that this time maybe that could happen. And that's why I've taken a, a Quinella that I think uh, could give us a, a fairly good payout. I've joined it up with number four million dollar rhyme with Frederick B. Larson. And those two combined uh, you know, four and a half, five times the money here we see uh, actually uh, Million Dollar Charm with Frank, uh, Frederick B. Larson. Finishes well there. Uh, doesn't uh, um, give way easily, but it's, it's right up there in the top four. A nice Canela bet suggestion there in race nine and that with horses. Number two, Cargador and number four, Million Dollar Rhyme. We jump to race 11 and this Saturday it equals the fifth leg in the V75 round. Also, this is a long distance race, Harry, over 2,640 metres. But here you found us a nice win bet. I think so. I think uh, the odds are surprisingly high. It's, it's a classy horse. It's Linus Boy, Timo Nirmus, Jorma Contio. I'm getting it spelled right. <laughs> and uh, I can tell you that uh, he's always thereabouts. Have a look at this finish here. He's always there. He's a fighter. Um, this is a good field. Make no mistake about it. But I think it could be uh, Linus Boy's turn this time at reasonably good odds. Linus Boy, a win bet there, Kim Eriksson driving, and uh, this is in race 11. Now, let's talk about the Daily Double. And this Saturday, it takes place in races 12 and 13. And uh, DD1 is a bronze division race uh, over sprint distance. And here we have two horses that stand out a bit. It's number two, Man at Work, who is currently the favourite, just ahead of number five, National Prince. And you take a stand here, Harry. Yes, I do. Uh, and they're two very good horses. Horses, two men at work, but I go for five national prints. Two uh, men at work is actually ch changed stable. He's gone to uh, Timo Nirmos, and we're watching here a national prince uh, in the front here uh, with the stable current colours. Uh, he's a good front runner, and I really believe that he could actually be the winner here. And then we move on to DD2, and here we have the big race of the day. Norrbotten Stora Pris, 2,140 metres, 1 million Swedish crowns to the winner. And you mentioned propulsion there earlier. I mean, he won the race two years ago. He won it last year. Uh, two years ago, he had lane 10. Now, last year, lane 2. Now he's back on lane 10. Will you have a harder time winning this year than uh, last year? I think it's going to be more difficult, but I still say that propulsion is uh, uh, well and above the others. We see this flying finish in the elite race final. He's unbelievably good propulsion. And as I said last time as well, uh, last week I said to you all, isn't it amazing how we week after week produce these world beaters? And here we've got propulsion, uh, Call Me Keeper, Nadal Broline. That's fantastic. A great race, but here we see your daily double suggestion and it is one single combination for the daily double this Saturday. Now we are going to talk about the V75 round and as usual, it's all about finding the winners in seven consecutive races. 
Normally, Harry, it is difficult V75, but looking historically at Budan this, um, this Saturday, historically, uh, most of the times three, four or five favourites win this round. We have a jackpot, so the payoff would probably be decent uh, anyhow, but uh, we hope now that you've picked out the correct favourites. Let's start in uh, the first leg. Very Kronos, number four, biggest favourite of the day. Comments. Absolutely fantastic horse. As I said, Eric Ardielson uh, uh, chose this horse for the Criteriat last year. Unfortunately, broke at the start. And I know that Eric Ardielson was so upset. Uh, this horse, he really believed he could win the Criteriat with beating a horse like Vincent. And let me tell you, the, the, the value and the rating of this horse is incredibly high. Let's hope he lives up to his uh, reputation. And I have no doubt. Number four, uh, and I'm very strong about it. Very Kronos will, be, will win. Okay, we move on to the second leg, and we've already talked about this race. It was a difficult race with 15 mares, um, and it, you seem to think that this is the most difficult race of the day. Seven marks. Philly's always difficult, as I said earlier, but uh, I've taken quite a few. I think you've got to include uh, a 14 Super Ariel and also 15 Eva I L H who's right at the back of the field there with a very, very big handicap. But as I say, you can see I've, I've, I've been pretty, uh, included plenty, plenty, plenty selections here, just hoping that we're going to get yeah. through that leg. The third leg uh, is where you suggest we place a Canela bet on number two, Cargador, and number four million dollar Ryan. But those are not enough for you because uh, you mark six horses here. Absolutely. Uh, one that I want to actually just take a little extra time, apart from the two that I selected for my Quinella, is number five, Enjoys Paycheck. Has won eight or 14 races in Finland, is traveling 720 kilometers to come to this race. They've been aiming at this race for months. Don't forget the Finnish invasion there. He's definitely going to be thereabouts. Mm. The fourth leg uh, is one for 15 cold-blooded horses. And uh, full distance, circular start, number nine Fender is the favorite, uh, but you don't trust this favorite to win. No, I think it's a very, very open uh, northern bred race. There, there are no absolute stars here. There are some pretty good horses. And uh, as I say, I, I feel this is an open uh, uh, race. And I've taken accordingly uh, quite a few selections. Mm, is there anyone in particular that you want to talk a little extra about yeah, here? Six Pave facts. Uh, we can watch here. and We see him uh, being driven by Jerma Black. And he's in the blue there. He'll be driven by Ovi, <laughs> Ovi Longlegs Linquist up in Borden, who's a very capable driver. And I really like the way he finishes. And I think he... he it could be a, a nice little upset. Mm. In the fifth leg, you earlier recommended a win bet on number one, Dino's boy. But here you add on three more horses, two, seven and nine. Which one of these one is the most dangerous opponent to Lina's boy? Well, think? I think there are two that are really dangerous, and that's seven angle of attack and number nine, Ole Royals. They, they are really top class horses. We all know that. And, and then obviously two, Kuaha QC, which is really strong and has really come up very quickly up the ranks. Those are the dangers. And uh, then in the sixth leg, we've already talked about your bank, number five, National Prince, and we also talked about number 10, Propulsion, in the last leg. And this all sums up to 840 combinations. And with that, I say thank you, Harry, for today. Thank you out there for watching. And, of course, you find out more information about Swedish trotting and horse betting at our website, SwedishHorseRacing.com. And now we wish you the best of luck to this jackpot round at Boden Racetrack. Bye-bye.